got him. Got one. Oh no! No, we don't. It's no, no, I screwed it up. It was my fault. It's catch and release. <laughs> God, I screwed it up. No. Go grab the rods, do this, clean the boat. Jeez, oh, Pete. Whenever I'm out with my Uncle Bob, I always get stuck doing a lot of stuff, but you know what? That's okay. <laughs> I'm hoping that we'll catch him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Look at it now, and you look at the water level now, and you go, holy. Well, I mean, the last. <clears throat> Three years, I said, the Great Lakes have went up like 10 inches, 12 inches. Like, there's 33 inches more than there was three years ago. Yeah, yeah. They went up each year that much yeah. from the previous year. That's phenomenal. Oh, phenomenal. yeah. Gonna get in the boat with Uncle Dave. Gotta load up my stuff. Him and I are gonna take out his boat his sea nymph <laughs> and Uncle Bob is taking his boat with kids and other people. Well that's how you go across if you go fast. I know but jeez. Man. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna start off with uh, a Kitex swim bait and an underspin. And I think Uncle Dave is gonna be using live bait or he might be using a spinner bait. Not quite sure. Okay. Whoa, I'll be sitting down for this one. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. I haven't even seen him yet. Oh, there's a smallie. Huh? There he is, on the swim bait. Yes. Come on up here, buddy. <sighs> on the Kitek. First smallmouth bass. I've ever caught in a kitek. There. There he goes. Gotcha. Three eighths war eagle spinner bait. Oh, he tried to hit it. He's got it. That didn't take long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get in the boat. Oh, 
I can see if they're swimming along the edge of the bottom. On the spinner bait. Reel it, reel it, reel it, jerk it. Okay, now it's right. Now keep her tip up. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Just only, only reel when you go down with the pole. When They're you using don't reel, you pull. ultralights with four pound test. Well, she got eight pound spider wire. She ain't going to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that small mouth. The biggest fish you ever catch? Probably. Uncle Dave, hold that up. <laughs> oh, man, look at that small mouth. That's a beautiful fish. Good job. That was awesome. Is that the biggest bat, uh, biggest smallmouth you've ever caught? Oh yeah, she be the biggest one she's ever caught. Put it there. That's awesome. No, live bait's too easy. He's got it. That feels like a better one. Got one, huh? I haven't seen him yet. Oh, he's just stuck in weeds. There he is. He's a dink, but look at that beautiful color. Oh, he hit it right at the boat. He hit it right. I watched him chase it. I watched him chase it. Oh, he ain't done fighting yet. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Get in here. A little bit better smallmouth on the spinner bait. Yep, Just barely hooked. By the way, do you guys see that little red spot right there? If you guys know what that is, comment below. Because I've never seen I've never seen that. I mean maybe it's another fish trying to hit him, but just let me know. Really, the phone again. He hit it and I wasn't even recording. He just, I, I switched to a chartreuse and white spinnerbait, a half ounce, and he just crushed it. It's a little guy. There. There we go. Little guy. There he is. <laughs> Uncle Dave, hold that up. There we go. The fighter. Spit all this junk up. Okay, in the boat. Jump right in that. That's a good one. And of course, That's a good one. I wasn't recording when I caught that smallmouth on a brush hog. Wait a minute, hold on a second, Uncle Dave, wait. Hold on. If I don't fall, hold that up. He just got a good one. But anyway, you guys, I was not recording when I caught that fish, so it is what it is. Nah, he's not that big, but he's fighting. 
Prince is bigger than he is. <laughs> Right there. Yep, I got one. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, 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 stop, 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 no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Yeah, it's turned on this time. There, in the bone. Look at that, hook came right out. Another nice, nice little fat fish. I love it. Blah! I'm rocking away on Lake Michigan, whoa! What time is it anyway? Don't have to tell me this second. Oh no, it's 202. There was a fish. Got him. Got one. Oh no! No, he don't. It's no, no, I screwed it up. It was my fault. It's catch and release. <laughs> God, I screwed it up. Did you need to charge it before today? No, I always have it on a trickle charge so it stays active. Even in the winter time, you know, I just hook it up to my trickle charge. That's weird. Yeah, it certainly is. That's all right. Those are some wicked waves out there. Yeah, that's a that's a Ranger bass boat. That's a nice boat. Oh yeah, it is. That's funny he's talking about that. He uh, he knows a lot of guys that like to fish and, and fish the circuit. Yeah. There we go. That feels like a better one. Oh no, stay pinned, stay pinned. Yes, please. I only, oh yeah, I only have eight pound test. Okay, almost looks as big as mine. Then. There we go. First bass. All right. On the rooster tail. Don't flop, I'm trying to get. Yeah, that's a dark fish. He came out of nowhere and hit that rooster tail. Oh, I thought you, are you hooked up to one? Yeah, what do you think I'm doing out here? I'm fishing, man. <laughs> 